So the clothes that I tested, I'll be taking this one, one, two, three, and I'll be giving my sister-in-law this one, this blue one is so cute. And this one also, I'll be wearing this one today. And in case I forgot, I sell this, um, uh, what is it even called? Arabic wear. If you like it and you want to place your orders, please send me a DM on Instagram at divinefavor underscore oinu. I will leave the name on the screen and also in the description box down below. Okay? This is how it came. It comes in. Yeah. So one like this is 21,000. Yeah, so no no need of you coming to my DM to ask me price. So if that is what you can afford, then send me a DM. Tell me you need it. Tell me the color and the design you need, and I will be sending it back to you. Like I said earlier, all these ones are off the market. I'm wearing this this three, then giving my sister-in-law the blue one. Thank you guys. I will catch up with you guys. Then. I say Nigeria is frustrating. You people will not believe me. At this point, I want to eat my abasha because I cannot be bothered. All of a sudden, the MTN network is connected. All the workers, their system stopped working. The system they are using. And they said it's network. I cannot come and kill myself. So I, this woman was, was selling abasha inside the office. So I called her to give me one. I think she sold this for 400 naira. Yeah. Come and eat, guys. So the guy that was attending to me before their their system, their system, their network disconnected in their system. As I was eating this abasha, he brought me water. That's so kind of him. This is it. He brought me this water and this tissue paper. I truly appreciate you. That's so kind of him. I don't even think I can finish this abasha. This is African salad. If you are. If you don't really know. Hi lovies. Good morning and welcome back to today's vlog. So yesterday, the clip you watched before this, I mentioned that I went to an MTN office, to MTN office basically, and when it was my time to capture their network went tough. I don't know, like I don't even understand the whole MTN did not have network like Niger wish way. <laughs> so I waited. So I think I waited for about three hours and the network didn't come back. So I have to start going because it's already getting late and moreover they closes by six. So I have to start going. Um there's something I want to say basically. Yes, you guys know eh even though that Nigeria customer service or basically customer service in general are not good but the few ones we see we try to encourage them we try to do get appreciate it even though it's a normal thing but in niger it's not a normal thing so you hardly see it so if you see so you got to appreciate so i, I explained when i get i got to that mtn office yesterday how the guy was actually nice and the mtn office i'm talking about is the one in asaba yeah along Beside Jamok, basically, that Jamok filling station is popular there. That place is popular, so you can basically... You know. So the guy was so nice. At first, I thought it was... Do you know, the, all these guys that when they see a woman, they try to pretend to be good and whatnot. So he was so nice. His customer service was top notch. So I could remember if he do any mistake or whatnot. Not only me, because there are people he supposed to not he attended before me so the way he was just a little small thing he will apologize to he will apologize to them and say sorry this don't worry there's network issue cool down this and that it was so nice do you get and i'm like 
it's what i wish i don't even know if he watches my video but anyhow somehow somehow you came across this video just know that in fact i appreciate okay thank you so much so at first like i said earlier at first i thought it was you get maybe for him to get my attention or whatnot so after i stayed I remember he came to shake up on me where I was sitting, where he told me to wait to see if the network will come back. So once in a while he do come back, do you need water? We have water. If you want to ease yourself, there is a toilet there. Please feel free. Please exercise some patience. Please don't bother. Please this, please this. I'm just like, this is not your fault, Mr. Man. <laughs> this is MTN network, okay? So he was so kind. So when I was about leaving, I was expecting him to call my number. Do you get that? If you are in Nigeria, you're supposed to understand. So I was expecting him to call my number and whatnot, but he never did. Like I was so surprised because I thought he was doing all those things to draw my attention. I remember when I finished eating my my African salad, there he came to ask me, "Can I help you keep the plate?" I'm like, "No, don't worry yourself. Just show me the trash while I do the rest." So that was so nice. If you are in Asaba, you want to visit the MTN office. Shibeze is your like. Just ask for Shibeze in that place. It's, I think his name is Shibeze because he put that the yeah, distance on his on his clothes so i think his name is shibeze so just ask of him i was the one that let her remember that if i come today because they said she come back that by today the network would be good i'm like if i come back today how will i contact this guy so he's like i went back or did i even call it down shasha i i was the one that asked him to give me to give me his number so i went back and collected his number that was so nice like his customer service was top notch, like top notch, top top notch. Not only me, even people there that was there before me, the way he attended to them, he was always smiling, always hi. Like you get, that's so nice. Thank you so much, Shibeze. If you're watching this video, which I know you want. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much. So you guys, I'm dressed up now. I'm heading over to their office right now. Even though he told me to come as early as eight o'clock, but this is currently to eleven a.m. So. I'll be heading off there. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they do attend to me and I'll go. All this things is a struggle. Going to empty an office, bank, all of this. Just prepare. They get a whole day because they're going to frustrate you. Okay? Imagine a whole empty and not having network. Like what are we? Okay, let's not go there. I'm not the first person to rant. So even if I rant, it won't end. Anyway, I'll see you guys when I got there. Okay? Ciao. hi guys so i'm back right now i'm currently at my sister-in-law's shop yeah she went out i'm with her baby let me see if she can say hi i'm lying on her bed though i'm lying on her bed say hi say hi say hi <laughs> so i just got back like i said earlier i took the no guy's number that yesterday so when i got to the gate i called him and he came to attend to me his customer service was top notch like trust me when i say that it was top notch i remember a lady who carried uh, who came with a baby girl was crying she, he was like leave her let her pray around don't worry and all of that so i'm done with empty hands they will not see my leg there again <laughs> i pray my sick cat doesn't have problem again if not that place no it's not even <laughs> The stress, eh? The stress is on another level. The same thing goes with um bank. Um, bank. If you have an issue with your bank and you go there, <laughs> they are going to frustrate you. To be honest, anyway, that I'm not fronting for the MTN stuff. This is two months now that I'm going for this MTN. Since I came back to Nigeria, I've been going through this process from NIN to this. When you go, they will say there is no network. You go back. You come the next day. There is a queue. This one, that one. Okay. I'm done anyway. Um, I have a few other things to run, and I'll end this vlog. I have to go losing this hair. Like this hair, have already lasted. If you guys remember, a month now, heading to a month that I did this hair, so it have already lasted for so long. I was go and losing the hair, wash it, and maybe carry my natural hair for one week or or less before I do a new hair that's the update and also i'm traveling back to Trans village yeah for one or two things hopefully when i get there i'll be able to vlog too 
so that's it for this vlog if you watch up to this point let me know what your sim card registration process was like was it stressful like mine or was it do you have the contact because some people have the contact once they come like this they'll just do sharp sharp for them but we we cannot come and kill ourselves okay uh -huh. so how was it on your own was it express was it stressful was it go and come back or let us know in the comment section down below share your own experience with me i actually want to know though anyway that's it and tomorrow morning i'll be heading to village Ibo state yeah see you guys later ciao